You ready? Ready? In honor of the medical men and women of the British Empire and Commonwealth of Nations who gave their lives in the Second World War. Say when you're ready. In honor of the medical men and women of the British Commonwealth, uh, Brit uh, sorry, start again. Ready? In honor of the medical men and women of the British Empire and Commonwealth of Nations who gave their lives in the Second World War. invite you to unveil the plaque of this memorial, may I present to you the uh, sculptor and architect who were responsible for the design and erection of this memorial. Mr. James Woodford, sculptor. Mr. Roland Pierce, the architect. May I now ask you, sir, to unveil the memorial by the removing from the plaque, Union Jack. I don't know how it is with you, but I find the dedication of memorials to those who fell in the last war more and more moving, overwhelming in their significance and meaning as the time passes, and not as one might think, less and less so. The last memorial I dedicated was a month or so ago in the far west of Canada, in Vancouver Island, on a station of the Canadian Air Force, 
in their little church to a young man, son of the island, who had fallen. A great multitude, yes indeed, but to call them a multitude emphasizes their separateness. They are really a great company because however far separated in the circumstances of their several deaths, they are and were one in a company and a comradeship of those, whether they died or lived and survived still, who offered themselves in a great cause. And as we dedicate this memorial, the more because of the passage of time, we dare not let anything but reality and truth be in our hearts as we dedicate a memorial to them. If there be only lingering feelings above all, we owe them undying gratitude in that whether they knew it or not, they keep us from sloth and compel us to face our daily lives in the realities which embrace and enfold them and the sacrifice which they made. For here indeed is the law of life, the law of Christ, the law of God. Whosoever will hoard his life and keep it to himself shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life and throw it away for my sake, and for the Gospels, and for the service of other men shall keep it unto life eternal. In the name of God the Father, who hath begotten us again into a living hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, amen. To the honor and glory of Almighty God, and in the faith of Jesus Christ, we dedicate this memorial in memory of all medical men and women of the British Empire and Commonwealth of Nations who gave their lives in the service of others during the Second World War. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Let us pray and grant, O Lord, that all who look upon this memorial you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and keep you in his perfect peace now and forevermore. <laughs>